Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for uh, April 2021. Uh, we're going to take a look at, we'll, we'll take both cards, why not? Uh, we're going to take a look at your current general energies in this first row. Uh, in your second row, we're going to look at anything unexpected that will be coming up for you. In your third row, uh, we're going to be looking at the best improvements that you could make at this time uh, or the best improvements that are kind of like available to you this month. And in your last row, we're going to look at any messages from your guides. Uh, also, at the end, we are going to pull three yes or no question cards and we're going to see what comes up. Uh, Libra, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what is going on for you uh, at this time, Libra. But uh, Libra, let's see where this is going. Libra, uh, you're getting a lot of double cards here. So that's interesting. But uh, Libra, let's see, Libra. You start off with this uh, delight and flexibility card here. So I do feel like there are going to be a lot of reasons uh, to be happy at this time. It's like you're kind of in this in-between world. You're, you have the between two worlds card or the between worlds card here. It's kind of like you're in this transition period. And your um, this row here, you have the tower in this row. This row is the best improvements that you could make this month. So this row is not meant to be positive or negative. This is what improvements do you need to make, right? So it doesn't matter that the tower is showing up here. The tower is just saying to have an improvement, you need to let go of something. Something needs to be released, right? That's not that's not a bad thing. So I feel for a lot of you, this is just saying something needs to be released, but you're going to be delighted. You are going to be very happy this month that uh, something is changing. I just feel like you need to be flexible in how things change. This It's funny because this usually comes up for fire signs. But I'm getting it for you, Libra, that there is something, it's almost like there's something you have to let go of or just something that needs to be released. You have the Page of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles here. I get this energy of someone who has like grown up and now it's like they're making moves towards you. This definitely feels like love. I feel someone is trying to make a move towards you here, but very, very slowly. I'm, for some of you, I feel like you know who this person is, this King of Swords person, but they're being very, very slow here. I gotta, I gotta clarify this right away because I need to know why are they being so slow here? They're waiting for a change here, Libra. Somebody is waiting for a change and that's why they are taking their time. So if you're dealing with a person who is being, who is kind of like improved, they've definitely matured. To go from the Page of Swords to the King of Swords, a major improvement, they're waiting for something to change before they make an offer. So I do feel someone is like thinking about approaching you here uh, with this energy. And a lot of waiting though. I mean, even if we go this way, Three of Wands to the Two of Swords here, definitely a lot of waiting in energy here. So this is definitely something that's taken time. They could be waiting for the end of like COVID or something like that. What I would say is that the uh, death card can represent coming out of the woods because the sun is rising behind the two pillars that are on the moon here, Libra. So I do feel there will be an improvement here. For others, this to me is a job coming in for you. Knight of Pentacles is work and it's hard work. Page of Swords says you have been looking for a job. The King of Swords actually says that the process that you've been going through to find a employment, to find a job, has matured you greatly. So I feel this is your energy. And the Knight of Pentacles is you getting something that you can work towards. So uh, I like this energy for you, especially if you're looking for work. You could be finding something. I feel that you felt like very unlucky with the Page of Swords in the past, like maybe there were too many requirements for you to get something that you wanted to get as far as the job was concerned, or you just weren't getting what you wanted. So let's clarify this. Yeah, Seven of Cups, spoiled for choice. It's like you probably weren't really sure exactly what you wanted to do either. The star, a wish, dream come true. Finally, it's like that breath of fresh air, being able to take a breath. Empress, love it. Uh, I definitely like the direction of this reading here, Libra. You're heading towards abundance. You're heading towards success and you're heading towards luxury as well with the Empress card. So it's almost like this first row, I was kind of confused with this first row at the beginning, if I'm being honest with you, because it wasn't making much sense in the, the, the story I was getting in my head. I was getting something about maturity here uh, between these two cards, and, but it was like saying, but it was going to the Knight of Pentacles 
And to me, that's almost like stalling out. To gain a bunch of maturity and then to go to a card like the Knight of Pentacles is kind of like a stall because it's like you learned a lesson, King of Swords, you have reached a certain level of maturity, but then you stop because Knight of Pentacles is too cautious, right? It's being too cautious. But now this to me looks like a, a breath of fresh air. It's like you're finally, you have matured in a major way and this is leading to a breath of fresh air. I also think this could be love and someone who finds you very attractive. For a lot of you, they are clearly waiting to probably remove themselves from a tower situation. I feel like this star, the star comes up after the tower and I feel that these two are connected in your reading. So it's almost like saying they could be waiting for you as well. A person could be waiting for you to let go of somebody here. This could be energetic, you know, as well here, Libra. So sometimes we hold on to people more like energetically and by holding on to that person we don't you know allow new people in so i would say here don't be afraid to allow someone new in here with this energy major abundance coming in for you uh, in your next row here of the unexpected you have the between two worlds card or this between worlds card i feel that you are about to step into something what's unexpected is you're about to step into a lot of happiness you know it's going from black and white color here to color on this card so it's like you're about to step into this more vibrant, alive world. You're about to step into things being a lot better in your life here. Yeah, you have this thinker card as well. I think you're just thinking about improvements. She's like sitting down here. There's something higher over here. There's like another, another pedestal on this card. So it's like you know that there can be improvements. You know things can improve in your life. And you're kind of, you've been waiting with that between worlds card. You have the seven of swords, the... Three of Wands and the Page of Wands here. For some of you, I feel that the Seven of Swords is talking about like kind of fears. It's the Seven of Swords is a card of fears and internal fears that don't exist. So I would let go of your fears. For others, I do feel you could be getting a truth here, especially with all this Swords energy. Someone could be telling you the truth that they were a liar, cheater, stealer. That could be a little bit, that could definitely be unexpected. That could be a little uncomfortable. So make sure to protect yourself from that. For others, it's like you're finally seeing results is what I feel with the three of wands. The page of wands is being able to go on a journey. It's like you're finally able to step outside of where you are. You're finally able to go on a journey. Three of wands is like you are finally seeing things coming together. And I, the reason, I almost feel like saying unbelievable <laughs> because you've been over here for so long. So sometimes I think like when our life finally starts improving, for example, it can be very uh, surprising. It can be very unbelievable because we're like, like, you know, like, how did these improvements happen? How did this happen? And, you know, all this other stuff. So it's like all of a sudden, your ships are coming in here on this three of wands. It's very exciting energy, I would say, to you, Libra. It's like you're finally seeing results. It's like maybe you've been working and working and working. Sometimes when we get in that mood or that mode, I should say, it's like never ending, right? Where we're like trying to get a job and we're looking and looking and looking. And we feel like we're going to be looking forever. This is the results that you've been waiting for is what this row is saying. The page of wands, I feel, is just more talking about the fact that you're finally moving forward. Page of wands is like finally being able to start an adventure, finally being able to, you know, get off on the path that you've wanted to go on for such a long period of time. Yeah, Ten of Cups, fortune after difficulty, happiness, good news coming in for you here. I like this. Hermit, you have earned your rewards. Hermit says you have climbed to the top of the mountain. Now it is time to celebrate. He has the star inside his lantern right here. You have the star right here, Libra. So there are rewards coming in for you. The reward, the reward is you have finished your journey. He has gained a ton, ton of wisdom. Again, this whole entire reading is talking about what I was talking about at the beginning of the reading, the King of Swords. It's like you have graduated from the universe <laughs> or, or something here, Libra. Yeah, you have the Knight of Swords. Finally, the Knight of Swords charging forward. Exactly what I said on the Page of Wands. It's like you're finally able to like start a journey that you have been hoping to start. You're finally able to walk down this path that you've wanted to walk down for a very long period of time, Libra. So I really like this. Ten of Cups could be you like letting go of a person who cheated, letting go of a person who lied, cheated, and stole, and moving on to new love. I want to clarify this. Yeah, you're walking away from a cheater, Eight of Cups. But if you're walking away from someone, you're walking right towards your Ten of Cups, is what I would say to you. The Hermit twice. Whenever I get repeating cards, it's like the universe saying, I meant what I said. So you've been through something. You've had to climb to the top of a mountain. Now you're spoiled for choice. Seven of Cups. So I feel in love, if you're walking away from a person, this reading is saying you have a lot more options in love than you realize. Ten of Cups is an amazing card for dating. So I would get out there if this is a love situation. 
Uh, for others, it's just fortune after difficulty. You know, it's kind of like saying you have reached the end of your very long, hard journey with the hermit of climbing to the top of the mountain. The hermit is called soul searching, but it can also be going through a difficult journey. And you're, you finally have gained all your wisdom. You're finally ready for something here is what I feel like that King of Swords is saying. Uh, in the area of the way uh, for best improvements this month, or what did I title this? Yeah, best improvements. How, how, what, what you can do to have the best improvements this month. I don't know. It's not making sense in, in, in my head, but <laughs> you have this scare beetle. It says magic works through you. So I feel this is talking about action and taking action. I, there are like going to be a lot of deaths and rebirths, I feel, this month for you here. Yeah, and spirit definitely has a plan. You have the qual spirit says spirit has a plan for you. So it's like you are being guided at this time. You have the two of swords, the tower, and the uh, strength card here. Releasing something is, go is your answer. The tower says everything is the same. The tower represents the Tower of Babel in the Bible, and it kind of says like everybody's holding on to one thing too tightly, right? So it's like once you release something, and once you try something new or different in your life, that's where you will be seen as being very successful. It's kind of weird because all the air sign readings that I've done this month for this month have all been about kind of making yourself more unique, doing something different. It's almost like, you know, here's my problem is Neptune and Pisces. We have Neptune and Pisces, and with Neptune and Pisces, like everybody wants to do the same thing, kind of. You know, everybody wants to be exactly the same under Neptune and Pisces. We kind of see this because, you know, we see more people who are like, I belong to this group, or I belong to this group, right? And it's like people are becoming more fragmented. And, you know, the, the cycle of Neptune and Pisces is, is basically people try to join smaller and smaller and smaller groups until the end everybody returns to being an individual at the end. <laughs> anyway, so spoiler alert, that's, what, that's what's going to happen by the time we get to like 2026 uh, when Neptune leaves Pisces officially. Um, sorry to, to ruin the movie for you there, Libra. But uh, this to me is saying that there's something you could try that is going to be different that you've never done before in your life. And that's where all your success lies is in doing something you've never done before or doing something that maybe your family has never done before. Maybe nobody in your family has ever started a business or maybe nobody in your family has ever gone to college or nobody in your family has ever been and stayed in the marriage. So this to me is like you doing something that definitely makes you stand out. The strength card, she has her hands in this lion's mouth. And I always say this card says, who in the right mind would stick their hands in a lion's mouth? The answer is nobody. So in a lot of ways, this is you doing something that kind of makes you appear to be extremely strong. This is you doing something that makes you stand out. For others, if you are moving, this is going to lead to major improvements for you. The two of swords can be a card of moving. It's like a card of blockages to a move coronavirus, obviously, but I do feel some of you could be moving. And the tower is also a card of a move. Plus, you also have the eight of cups, which twice here as well, which can also be a card of moving. So let's see where this is going, Libra, for you. You have the page of cups here, uh, the four of wands, definitely love coming in for you here, and the six of cups. So love could also lead to a bigger improvement in your life. So allowing love into your life could be very beneficial with the Page of Cups. It's funny, you have this Life is Better Together card over here. And I do feel it's saying, like some of you might be saying, I don't want love, I don't want someone in my life. But it's like life is better together, especially if you can find someone who you know, wants to put in the work to the relationship. But tr trust me, I know that's hard, but you know, it is possible. So I feel finding love or finding a person could be very beneficial for you here. This could, uh, this would also represent a surprise opportunity. I feel the page of cups, he has this fish in this cup here, Libra, and it kind of says, do not allow that fish to escape. Do not allow that fish to jump out of the cup. It doesn't have to be love. You could have an, a sudden idea with the tower, I feel, something that's going to lead to a lot of freedom with the four of wands, but you're going to have to, you know, put in the action to make it happen. Yeah, you have a six of cups. Some of you could be returning to a childhood dream, I feel as well, something you wanted to do since you were a child, and some of you are returning to a childhood dream or a childhood wish, and you're making this wish come true. So uh, love it, Libra. In your last row here, of any messages from your guides. you say It says here, life is better together. Uh, seek assistance from your community. Connect with family, friends, or others who will support you. It can be as simple as making a phone call. There you go. I feel like you know teamwork makes the dream work for sure here, Libra. You have the Nine of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, and the High Priestess. Again, this is messages from your guides. Your guides want you to walk away from a comfort zone. Four of Pentacles, holding on too tightly to something. The Tower, the Eight of Cups, walking away from something. 
that you've been holding on to here. Uh, for some of you, it's like your guides want you to trust your intuition as well. For some of you, I feel like you keep having these like dreams, daydreams that are guiding you away from something. It could be a person, could also be a job or an opportunity that you feel like you have or you felt like you had. And really, I feel your guides are kind of like saying, no, there's something better for you here. I'm going to clarify this twice because I'm only getting kind of like one message here in this row for you, Libra. It's kind of like only talking about one thing, I feel. So let's dig into this, Libra. And you have the Two of Swords. Yeah, not wanting to look at something new. Two of Swords, she's fearing being hurt by going to these new lands. Again, the Two of Swords comes up like crazy. It's insane how many times the Two of Swords has been coming up lately for everybody. So it's like everybody needs to leave a comfort zone. Everybody needs to move to, on to new lands. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. There is something far greater available to you. Your guides want you to know that. And the High Priestess, again, it's like the universe saying, I meant what I said. Trust your intuition. You have the Hangman here as well. I feel like that's saying get off the pole. You know, I feel like the Hangman is saying it's time for you to take action. It's time for you to get moving. It's time for you to start working towards a childhood dream. It's time for you to start working towards the Ace of Pentacles, something that could work really well for you. So your guides are really asking you to uh, get moving with this energy. Let's see here, Libra. You have these strength cards. Definitely going to require strength. Like I said, you're doing something that you've probably never done before. You have the temperance card, patience. going to require patience. And the eight of wands. But I don't know. There will be quick success. So I feel like there's good news or quick success coming in for you here. It's like I feel your guides are kind of urging you. Like It's, like, it's almost like you are the lion. And I feel like your guides are kind of taming you, not taming you, but they're almost nurturing you along at this time to be successful. So I feel like you need to realize that here with this energy here, Libra. Uh, I like this reading uh, kind of <laughs> is, is what I would say to you. It's like there's, some, you know, clearly the reading's pretty simple. There's something you need to let go of, probably love for some of you. For some of you, I feel like it's just someone that you would admire, someone that you're interested in, but I feel there's something so much better coming in for you here. Uh, I'm going to clarify this row as well. Um, this row right here, which is the biggest improvement that you could have this month. And uh, I just want to get some more details on this. You have six of pentacles here. Finding someone who's actually willing to give to you. The page of wands could be a fire sign coming in for you here. And the fool, time to take a leap of faith towards new love. Yeah, I feel like there's new love coming in for you. This is kind of like saying you're ready for love. For those of you that are saying I don't want love, you know, I feel there is love available to you. Again, you have free will. You, you do not have to accept love into your life if you don't want to. But I would say that's available. I think life is better together, right? We need each other. So for a lot of you, I feel this is like saying, you know, try to make connections deeper and bring people into your life. It doesn't have to be love. It could be friends or whatever. It'll probably improve you, your life majorly here with this energy. Uh, um, but yeah, I kind of like this reading. I feel like there could be, and again, there probably is unexpected love coming in for you. Someone is going to be approaching you here. But uh, for the most part, I feel like this is a positive uh, change for you. Uh, we're going to pick three yes or no question cards now, Libra. So we are going to do one, uh, two here, and three. So feel free to pause this video. I'm going to answer these as if they are personal as well. So one, two, and three. For question number one, I would say yes, six of cups. Definitely could be love coming in for you here. Uh, for others, I feel this is like this childhood dream, something you've wanted to accomplish. I would go for it. Uh, next, for question number two, I would say no. Ten of swords, definitely not. <laughs> so I feel like you need to move on to something new. And for question number three, I would say yes, six of pentacles. Six of pentacles is saying like plant those seeds. I do feel this card is asking you to really kind of like get started. I feel like it's asking you to get moving. That's going to lead to the fastest success, I feel, for you here, Libra. But this looks pretty good, Libra. I do feel like you need to be flexible in like how things happen. I feel like, you know, like I was saying at the beginning of the reading, all the readings have been saying like you need to be you know, everybody needs to be more open to how they get to the finish line. Uh, I really feel there are no finish lines, but it's like if there's a goal you're trying to achieve, it could be love, it could be business, a job. I feel like this is just saying stay open to how you accomplish it. But that's what I have for you here, Libra. So thank you for being here, Libra. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you this week. Also, feel free to like and subscribe. Really appreciate the support. But thank you, Libra, and definitely enjoy your month.